we ask the private sector to take care of their employees and their contractual staff during this difficult time. And many have responded generously. Hindi ko na sila iisa-isahin. Pero batid natin at ng ating mga mamamayan ang positibong pagtugon ng mga pribadong kumpanya, malaki, malaki man, katamtaman o maliit, para ayudahan ang kanilang mga manggagawa, gayon din ang iba pang mga nahihirapang sektor. Let it be said that in the hour of our country's greatest need, we all look out for and help each other. Buksan natin ang ating puso sa nangangailangan. I also appeal to the private sector to contribute in any way you can in dealing with this national emergency. We implore employers to do their part in protecting the welfare of the millions of Filipino households that belong to the formal sector and depend on their employers for continuous livelihood. When it comes to the safety of our employees, their safety always comes first. You, of course, do have many employees who work for you. You are the owner of a basketball team. You're involved in a number of other businesses as well. How do you think about this very question? When is it safe to send people back to work? 
You know what, you, when you deal with imperfect information, you make imperfect decisions and there's no reason to rush this. I'd rather err on the side of caution. I'm not gonna you know, tell people to go to work when I'm uncertain. And you know, not as, only is it a safety issue, it's a business issue. How companies respond to that very question is going to define their brand for decades. If you rushed in and somebody got sick, you were that company. If you didn't take care of your, comp your employees or stakeholders and put them first, you were that company. And particularly with the Gen Z and millennial generations, th that's gonna be unforgivable. So not only is it smart to take care of your employees, but it's also good business. And that's the way I'm looking at it.